The first thing to realize with this question is we're translating from A to B. So we're going to start off at A and I'm going to pick a point and I always pick the top left one. And I'm going to see how many jumps I need to get in line with the same point on B. So if I plot on same point on B, the top left point. So I'm going to do left first, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I needed to go 5 left, I'm going to write that down. 5 left. And I need to jump 1, 2, 3, 4 up. So I'm going to write down 4 up. Now as a column vector, we always put these in big brackets. And the number at the top is how far right we went. Well, we went 5 left, so it's going to be minus 5. So if it's positive, it's right. If it's negative, it's left. The one at the bottom says how far up we went. Well, we went 4 up. If it was negative, it would be going down. Now, it's really common for students to count the jumps up until this point here. Remember, you must start and end at the same point on the shape. That's why I always get in the habit of doing the top left.